Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Good to see you here for our first, but not necessarily first, look at Dave the Diver. Before on the channel, we took a look at the demo for this game, but now it is fully released on Steam, and it's an awesome restaurant tycoon and diving simulator. Wonderful music, a great art style that really reminds me of the retro era of, uh, well, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and also a lot of illustrations that are fantastic. Good characters, and uh, I really enjoyed the demo. So now we're taking our first look at the full game. There'll also be a live stream up on this game as well, so if you want to see what Dave and his friends like Cobra here get up to as they start their restaurant, well, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and smash that like button, because who the hell doesn't like sushi? I don't know what people like more, of sushi or pizza. It seems like I, as I get older, it seems to be like 50-50. But anyway, we're heading now to an area known as the Blue Hole, where our friend, again, Cobra, has started a restaurant and wants us, Dave the Diver, as a business partner. All right, let's get over there. Well, here we are. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, yeah, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Oh, look at this, the blue... Or the giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like it. Well, it's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means... Yeah, it means it's like a dungeon crawler, essentially, where the layout is different every single time. It's procedurally generated. That's what that means. This could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving, so how about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go on and jump on in. Hmm... I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue. A sushi bar by the big blue hole. Oh, indeed it is. Try moving with WSD. Let's dive. Yeah, so we're diving by the giant blue hole, and every time we go down here, things will be different. Ooh, a cardinal fish. Ah, nice load screen tips. Very helpful. All right. Here we are. Ah, nice form. All right. How about... You try to stretch out a bit. Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember, this speeds up oxygen consumption. All right. So over on the left, the further we uh, dive, the more our oxygen will be consumed. So we mostly need to stay shallow for now, even though the temptation to go deeper will be there all the time. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. What does that mean? Now, let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dagger. Try using the dagger on small fish. You can use the left click. Oh, please, no fish is going to get close enough to me for that. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use your harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Uh, well, I used one. I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first? And uh, All right. Well, looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with the right click, fire with the left. Try it out with yourself, okay? Oh, got him! First try. All right, let's get another one. Nice thing with the mouse, too, by the way, is that we can aim at the fish and fire. Now, I believe this is also playable with a controller, so if you want that, you can do that as well. I think that you should get back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Oh, really? How's this getting started? All right, back to the boat we go. Any time now. Okay. Now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? Oh, for sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh, man, that's just the best. All right, well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here will be made fresh from fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Oh, so all types of fish are found here in this part of the world, I guess. All of them. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Uh, yeah, I'm already craving it. I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but uh, I don't know a thing about cooking. Nah, nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't that sound too bad? Does it, does it sound good? You, you in? Well, you know what's interesting here is 
we have to fish basically day and night and then be a restaurant server like we have to basically be somebody's host and and they're also their their server that's gonna be so much work for dave he should be paid triple but i accept <laughs> so i can eat as much sushi as i want yeah sure you have to pay though oh, can't wait to check it out the sushi restaurant next to the blue hole yeah, it was supposed to open tonight but i'm not sure if it's ready let's go and have a chat at the restaurant oh okay let's rip and dip to the sushi restaurant let's go big old sushi here we come All right. Hey, Pancho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. No, oh, it's already finished? You. Oh. You're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh, boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Huh. This is mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to people without an E at the end of it. Uh-oh. E for earthquake. He is for Earthquake! Alright. Either Dave was very hungry, or maybe a volcano exploded. Or a tsunami? No, it was an Earthquake. Hmm. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah. Looks like we have to delay opening today. Uh, you know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs for doing business. In this state? Well, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. Yeah, not in America. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Yeah, uh, well, I have something I just caught. Hmm. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and uh, the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Oh, won't that decrease sales? Oh, you think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? America. <laughs> it's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Uh, off we go then. Back to the giant blue hole. So we got to capture seven more fish. And really, we can bring back anything that we find under the sea. So now this layout will be different than previously. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. Mm, he may not talk about personal stuff, but the guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I've even seen Boncho so enthusiastic. I haven't seen him since this enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to have him like this. The incident? What do you mean? Uh, the incident? Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway... We need more ingredients, so catch seven fish first. Mission updated. Prepare sushi ingredients. All right, so we need to make 100 gold and capture seven fish. Let's do it. Uh, anytime you're ready. Dave? Oh, there we go. Dave has to dive at the very end of the boat. You got it, Dave. Go for a dive. Now, this game also features bosses, too. There's boss battles and controller support and many different characters of which my favorite is probably Duff, who we're going to meet in a little bit, as we can find weapons and such under the sea. We'll find other characters who want us to collect seaweed and other samples of other things, but remember, we need to be a little more shallow here, probably not going too far uh, past maybe 25 meters at most. It'll kind of start to turn orange on the left side when we're a little too far down, but we can find all sorts of things under the sea, including... Um, Materials we can actually mine too. things like copper ore. We also find samurai swords and hammers and other things like that And here we go with a few boards. We shouldn't go too much deeper than this right about here About 30 meters is probably where we're gonna cut it off at the deepest for now unless we find an oxygen tank We can also find reserve oxygen down here or even use this radio to call in um, Kind of like a backup like a skate pod or something like that as a backup plan Right now we're okay, because we're checking this box. Let's see what we got. Oh, is that an advanced harpoon? Oh, a shock bang stick. Okay. Well, let's see what that works on. 
Wait. Oh, it's our left click. Let's see. Oh, we got a little bit more range. Okay. Well, let's get focused on collecting fish here. So the more fish, the better. The more rare, the better. Looks like we have some O2 here. Grab some more fishy fish. Oh. Wait, let's try here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so this bang stick is probably better for things like maybe eels. Oh, there's a sea urchin down there. Now I know for a fact we won't be able to grab that without special gloves, so I'm not even going to try, but it will be an upgrade that we can get eventually. Now, things that we find down here, like uh, weapon upgrades, like if we find a katana, we won't be able to take it into our next dive. We have to uh, kind of uh, maybe, you know, keep it like... Um, for each, I, I, it's it, part of the instance, let's say. We can keep permanent upgrades, but yeah. This sleepy toy hammer that we just got is only a one-time thing. All right, so let's grab this oxygen over here. I did say we weren't going to dive too much further, I know. But we need to. There's many more fish around here, and we need to bring back a, lo a lot of them for Boncho. The more the merrier when it comes to these fish. Now, that's way too deep down there, so we're going to try to keep as shallow as possible. A little more buggers here. Nice layout here so far. Let's try to take some more oxygen. We're gonna have to go deep. These fish here are gonna put up quite a fight. So let's try not to fight them too deep for too long. Ooh, just out of my range. There we go. Watch this. Gotta spam that mouse. There we go. Or the keyboard in this case, the uh, space bar. Oh boy, what are these things? I want these. They look all shiny. Oh, we found fragments. Yeah, things to upgrade our boat maybe within the future. Things like planks and screws. Now, we can keep that stuff, but we can't keep items on the left side. Ooh, we got away quick. What else we got down here? Oh, we got ourselves a underwater scooter, so we'll be able to zip around a little faster. We use that boost sparingly. Is that a palm tree? Yeah, take that palm tree. Oh, it's... Kajumi? I've never heard of that before. Nice. Been to Japan a few times. Never had sushi in Japan. Enjoy a lot of gyoza and uh, I forget what it is, but it's a, a basic like beef or pork bowl with rice and onions. I always forget the name of it. I think it's uh, something with a G as well from a very famous place called like... Um, oh boy, I'm, it's all slipping my mind unless it's Coco Curry. That's really... Coco's Curry is probably one of the best curry places ever. Love it. It just makes me think of home, Japan. <laughs> hey, some more fish for us. Good. Now, we can stay down here as long as we have oxygen, so we really don't necessarily have a time limit. Even though we did say, uh, or rather, Cobra is telling us that we can only come down here day and night. So, looks like there's a sunken ship up to our right. Let's go up there now. But yeah, we can come here in the morning and then the evening. Looks like we found some blue seashells here. Let's see what we got in the box. I see something else down here. Oh, oxygen capsule. All right, let's use our scooter now. We go real deep. Oh, there's a uh, copper ore down here. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, I don't want to go too much deeper than this. Oh, and there's an eel there. He's going to attack us, that jerk. Oh, he tries to fire back. All right, so we need to watch out for those guys. Yeah, the um, scooter doesn't last for too long. So now we're already over-encumbered a bit. We can go back with more than this, but it'll just slow us down. Let's keep on trucking. There we go. A little bit more oxygen. That copper ore? No. Okay, we're good. Continue to grab ourselves some fish. Nice. Been diving, been snorkeling. Even touched. You can pet some fish too, it's a very fun experience. The sea is a beautiful place and tasty too. Hey, look, more copper ore. Oh, look at that. Bopped him on the noggin. Boop the snoot. There's a little bit of a delay on the uh, harpoon too. You gotta hold it for about a second before it goes into this slow motion mode. Which is good because it's quite hard to. Uh, actually hit anything with it. Oh. Oh boy, Dave's going real slow, isn't he? This is greed under the sea. No 
of luck on that one. Sir? There we go. Alright, let's go back. I'm getting... I'm getting a little over encumbered, I think. I, I think that might mean we can't carry anything else. I think we can go only to like 14, 15. It means I'm being too successful. Now, an interesting thing is, actually, I want to show this off if we can, yeah, it's a little risky, but uh, if we go down to where that um, little escape capsule is, we actually can um, call it down and we'll have to decompress so we don't get the bends. So it'll come down and it'll actually uh, make us wait for a little while before we go up. It just shows an animation. But now we might be able to do it. We have 90 seconds now, so let's go down. Because it'll be fun, and I want to show you. Ooh, more uh, seashells. Oh, Dave can't handle anything else. Alright, so 14 seems to be our maximum. So we're finding out some things that Cobra doesn't necessarily explain to us. Which is fine, because he's not necessarily a diver. We are the diver. Dave, the diver. Alright, so we could either surface and go right back to the ship, or we could go down here to the escape pod, which now, new content! Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as calling process takes some time. So yeah, once we call this in, the thing has to fill up. So if we're being a shark, uh, if there's a shadow, which means a big old shark around, we'd have to wait for the pod to come down. Just gotta wait for it to fill up and then boom, there we go. So now we depressurize as he reads himself a book. How lovely. And back to the boat we go. Actually, more importantly, back to the sushi restaurant we go. All right. Looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. My, my. Would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Prepare sushi ingredients complete. All right. So, yeah, I like this dive log. It tells us everything from the weather and the temperature and how long we were down there and how much we caught and obtained. It's good stuff, ma'am. Everything under items, too, is like something we can't serve to the customer, but... It's uh, definitely going to be useful for upgrading stuff in the future. To the fish tank. Let's go. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Oh, by the way, only be able to dive once in the morning and the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hours start. All right, let's go back to the... Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, yes, of course. The diver box. All of our extra stuff. So we can upgrade our harpoon gun, melee weapon. We have a more advanced gun and then a couple of charms that we can switch out. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Of course, we can also chat with Cobra. But back to Bancho Sushi we go. He's bound and down. Oh, I love that art there. Some of the promotional art for this game looks really nice. And uh, I like what they've done. Bancho, how are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. Oh, that's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You forward slash 2019 RE to help me run the sushi. <laughs> what happened there? Sushi bar from my from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He also said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked in a restaurant before. Well, the guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. All right, so we have menu, research, staff, ingredients, and interior. Oh, we can decorate and do research. Very nice. Unlocking more stuff. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and other materials you have. Ooh, crops. That mean we can do farming? We'll see. Oh, there's a small spotted dart. That's the name of that fish. Rank three. Hmm. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press C to close the ingredients window. All right. Now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Press 1 to check the menu. New recipes will need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering them to that menu. Now I wonder, this is a question I've had before too, if things that we uh, don't put on the menu this time around could be used next since we want to keep things fresh, for example. Okay. Hmm. Let's add a bunch of uh, food to the menu then. Oh, that probably wasn't that hard. Sending ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu could be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. 
You can also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Try filling the rest of the items on the menu. Now, let's take a look at how you can deliver the food. How long are you going to be standing there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Ah, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Uh, no, only soft drinks, I think. Huh. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Well, let's give it a nice pour. There you go. Perfect! New content, green tea. Customers who drink a, tup a cup of good tea or higher will pay more. All right, well, we did a perfect pour, so excellent. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. That tea has really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait for the cooking to be done. All right. Come over to where I am and take the food. You can dash with shift. Don't forget to watch your stamina. I'm coming. There you go, sir. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me go check on that. What? Oh, there he goes. Oh, you can see the menu up top, too, next to the speaker. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be re uh, reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Oh, it seems like such a waste to throw it all away. Bancho Sushi never refuses, re never reuses food, but we, we do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Hold down Q to discard the food. Oh, that's tragic. I didn't even want to read that. Ugh. Everything looks about ready. Yeah, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. He's sweating. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. All right, customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay. So we can enhance things if we want to, add ingredients, like a sea goldie. Uh, we can swap enhance, auto supply, or delete menu. Uh, sure. What do we got that's most expensive? I don't think we can set prices here, but we can enhance things. We can add more to it. Oh my, oh my god. This is the best. These animations, when you enhance like this, is perfect. <laughs> a deep breath like that? I love it. Ornate Warse Sushi. Enhance has been completed. Very nice. Well, let's add that to the menu then. Or should we enhance again? Ingredients used for enhancing will disappear. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just try to make more of them. So we can do a max of seven. Uh, let's actually enhance again. Yeah. Oh, you only get the animation once? I'd love for more. All right, so now we can do three at max, but it'll give us a much higher rating that way. Oh, look at that. We make 12. Let's take the Goldie off the menu, because the Goldie will uh, actually kind of... The remaining food will be discarded. Oh. Uh, can we swap? Yeah, there we go get some of these blue boys in. We're just trying to do whatever to make the most amount of money. Uh, I don't want to discard. Let's put goldies on the menu. And let's see. Looks like everything's here is for three. We have three, twelve, eight. We can enhance. Let's go ahead and enhance. Because doing this will get us a lot more money. But we have to change the uh, number, I think. Let's see, auto supply off, okay. I don't think we can do that, that's fine. I think it puts it on there for the uh, tutorial, but regardless, let's increase our pyramid butterfly fish sushi. Butterfly, butterfly. There we go. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's add that to the menu then. And that should be good enough. All right, we're done. Let's go. Bancho Sushi is open. All right, let's go do some wasabi. We can't run out. It needs to stay nice and fresh. You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill wasabi before it runs out. 
All done. Anybody want green tea? We're gonna have to go to the end first. Boy, he's gonna be overwhelmed. All right, this one should be next. I love the music in this game. It really reminds me of just, I don't know, the PlayStation era of just things like Parappa the Rapper and whatnot. It's just, it's just chill, even though it's super not. Oh, we gotta clean that up. Oh, we gotta, we gotta clean uh, the customer's uh, eating area. We gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Who's here first? At least it marks us on the map who is uh, next for a customer. Nice. Green tea, I'm coming, ma'am. There you go. Ooh, very nice pour. Oh boy, it's almost the end of the day. It'll be our last customer here. Come on, get to tour before the end of the restaurant. Hey, there we go. Whew. Hopefully we made a bunch of tips. Oh, we ran out of one of the things, too. They really loved it. Close for the day, Bancho Sushi closed. Oh, man, that was great. Net profit, 76. Awesome. Wow, today's score of 5.0. And a times 5 artisan flame. Wow. Very nice. The ornate sushi was the best. People loved it. Very nice. Did a good job. I'm proud of me. Thank you, myself. Ah. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. Yeah, you were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, in any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Yes, indeed. All right, on to our next day. We'll have to see what we can... Uh oh DHL? Oh, that's the package that Cobra won. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's fine. Nope. Nope, he's not. Well, that was nice. Okay, now do we get to go on to a new day? Yes, Friday <laughs> the 10th. Oh boy. It is now October. Ellie, who are you? Uh, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. No, oh, I was expecting a younger, hotter guy. Well, if that's the case, then follow me on Instagram, ma'am. The link's down below in the description. And might I interest you in Twitter as well? Go ahead, I'm waiting. Yep. Yep, tap that link. There you go. Right down. There you go. And follow. Perfect. Job well done. I can hear you, you know. Uh, in any case, can you do something for me? Uh, shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of the University of the Philippines. I've come out here to investigate reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay. So, what do you want? I'd like to study ecology of the blue hole. Give me some agar and some red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each, so give me two. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Well, I've got a reward. If you don't want it, then that's fine by me. A, a reward? I wasn't refusing. I was just saying you could ask more nicely. Yeah, in any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Okay, ma'am. Oh, we have a, a smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current mission, and more. All right. So we can do that with escape. Oh, nice. Check it out. To-do list, calendar, weather reports, mini games, calculators, and yeah, in-game settings too. Nice. Check our missed calls. Wow, we got a, a cell phone signal out here. I can't believe it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make that money. Let's begin. So, goal is still to make 100 gold. We were still pretty close to that at 76. And we also need to find two samples for Ellie now. 
Oh yeah, there's one of those boss fish right there. That's a big boy. Anything with two fins under its belly, that's going to be a guaranteed big boy. That's going to need some reeling and dealing. Okay, well, we've immediately got some planks of wood here. Now remember, from our last run, we've lost all of the things that we had that were not like... Uh, oh, here we go. We need this rally. But anyway, yeah, the uh, little hammer and all that stuff. Even if we had that little scooter, it would have disappeared after our last run. So we're starting completely fresh. And we also want to try not to go too deep again. Remember... Oh, pufferfish. Hi there, pal. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, that's what she wanted. Oh, no. I don't think we can get those puffer fish either with our level one uh, harpoon, for sure. Okay, let's try to get all the samples. I think we got everything she needed, yep. And some big boys over here. Yep. Oh, big fight, big fight. Cool. Now, we don't need to get too many fish because we only have a limited menu, but uh, eventually we'll be able to, as you saw... Ooh, ooh. That's, that's a boss fish right there. Don't want to mess with him. No, it's a mini boss, really. But yeah, we can hire employees, as you saw from the menus at the bottom. I don't think we can get him either. Everybody's picky down here. I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even tempt fate. Need to aim a little higher. Oh, what? What? All right, I tried. You win. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, a bunch of little boys over here. Boy, good luck uh, even hitting one of those. I, I don't even know if we can get those guys. Wow, we can. Dude, the spear would have cut him in half. Oh, a cardinal fish. Nice. Wait, was that something over there we missed? Oh, there's a little shell down here. I'll be missing plenty of things, too, by the way, in this playthrough. Since there's just so much to get and so little time, sometimes you want to rush for the bigger target because you know it'll mean more money. So you might miss something like a, uh, a shellfish or a starfish or something. But... Ah, we have... Oh, yes, we can press R to also mix between things. Sir, I did not see you there. I think if he die, if we kill him, it's not going to give us a, a lot of uh, money. If we actually uh, kill the fish, we need to like catch it alive so it can be dealt with back at the uh, back at the restaurant. He's going to pursue me for a while, isn't he? Nah, he gave up. All right, we got some more copper ore here. Perfect. Goal is to try to get as close to 14 kilograms as we can. Oh, we almost got away. And we probably want this copper for future upgrades, so let's grab some of that, because this is... I don't think this is something very common at all that we're going to find. Oh yeah, look at how heavy that is already. Ooh. Could be good for boat upgrades. Nice. We're at 11. Could find a... We're not really finding any sort of um, escape pods here. Let's try to use our backup oxygen if we need it. We can use it. Another big boy down here. And now this looks like a... Holy crap, that's a show. Oh boy. Nope, Dave's going to be uh, diving away from that one. Nope. That's a big nope. That is my first time seeing one of those big boys. Uh, we can't gather the sea urchin down there. Okay, there are sharks. Yep, that's a big no. We're going to need a lot better gear to deal with that bad boy. Now we got about a minute. I love all the different fish types here. They've done such a great job of decorating the background and making the fish look great, the music. Pretty chill, by the way, this music. Nope, missed. Try again. One more. Oh, those tiny ones, man. Let's try one of you guys. 
He'll turn around eventually. I guess not. How about you? There we go. Alright, time to leave. Even though we got plenty more oxygen. All done. Return to boat. Yeah, so there we go. Back to the old boat. Oh. Who is this? Hmm. You actually brought them back? I guess I expected too little from you. Alright. That should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised. Since you helped my research. The sudden ecologi ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Oh, we got gold, olive oil, and soy sauce. All right, so we can get things for the restaurant, even through quests. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Now, give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Mission complete. Repair the sushi restaurant. Perfect. And our biggest fish, 40 centimeter, yellowback fusier. Ooh. And there we go. All the weather and stuff. Very nice. Oh. Uh... Did Dave get you to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Or wait, wait, you mean Boncho? Dave, did Boncho get you to loosen up? Uh, I saw a lot of nasty fish, but it won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm. Oh, I see. He means that loosen up from diving. <laughs> I saw Boncho on the screen. I was like, wait, is he talking about him? Well, I noticed that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge? Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun, brother, in addition to the harpoon, eh? Man, we call that portable freedom in the business, brother, eh? amen. A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. He's my uncle. His name is Sam. No, his name is Duff, my favorite! Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the stocky person next to you? Uh, sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Hmm, interesting. I thought divers were all thin and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Mm. I don't want to hear that from you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what's this about? I'd like to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hello. Hmm. Season 2 of Stray Estella has just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole... The terrain and ecology inside it change every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. So I'd like you to make us a weapon that could be used inside. Hmm. It's rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, brother, which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Mm -hmm. Dave, you'll need to prove yourself as a diver to master to this master duff. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why I should prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Well, since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. Let's say I need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to take one item back. Oh. You need to take. You can only take back one item if you die. Always keep that in mind. I guess not death then if you're bringing it back. You know what I mean? Find a rope and scrap iron. We're going in again? Alright. Here we go. Man, we brought back so much stuff already. The second day at the restaurant is going to be absolutely madness. We're going to have so many people coming through. A sea toad? Gross. All right, I already forgot what we needed. Rope and scrap iron? Yeah. Find rope and scrap iron. All right, Dave's back in it. Dave the diver! Go, Dave. Uh, nothing there. This reminds me of one of our first dives. I believe the maps are all... Um, some of them are probably mm, pre-generated for story elements, and some of them are probably procedurally generated for later. We have some big old fish here. Oh yeah, he doesn't even care. Ooh, a cooking pot? Interesting. Oh, there's something inside. Is that the scrap iron we need? Olive oil? 
I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with this glove. Okay. Uh, of course. Oh, we got a big old mean fish. Which we want to stay away from. Don't sprint if you don't have to. Okay, we got a box here. Oh, another whack-a-mole hammer. That might be the scrap metal we need. No, that's the rope. Alright, these guys are too big. But I'll take you. Oh, you got past me. Wait, there's something there. I'll take the brown seashell. Man, we're gonna have so much. Oh, puffer fish. We need to sneak past you, sir. You'd be so kind. Okay, now we're poisoned to death. Sir, you're being very rude. Okay, then. We're fine. There we go. Well, thankfully, the uh, blue hole has a ton, absolute ton of scrap and stuff in it. We're lucky. Oh, baseball bat. That'll do. Maybe we can knock that damn puffer fish out of the way, but forget it. We'll just go for other fish. Oh, it's still too big. Yeah, I don't think any amount of... Uh, yeah, I didn't think the baseball bat would work there either. Oh, that's a... Oh, boy. Oh, wow, that was a uh, red lionfish. Iron lion. All right, Dave, let's get out of here. Let's not get greedy. We're going home. Mostly because we're almost out of time for today. Otherwise, we'd continue down in the surface and the uh, floor of the ocean and continue to gather all sorts of stuff, but we got to keep trucking. Otherwise, we'll run out of time to show off all the other cool parts of the game. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Oh, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back? I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Wow. Hmm. Now oh, it seems like I underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make a basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. Oh my god. Really? We're going to have to download an app? This game has us downloading apps. Uh, the weapon shop. Okay, let's craft the basic underwater rifle. You've collected all the materials. Good. Let's try to create a new weapon. Here's the best part of the game. Best part of the game. Best part of the game! Wow. Can't believe it. Equip the weapon right away? Hell yeah, I do. Now, uh, with that neat explanation, uh, even someone like you could have understood, uh, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measurements to allow you to open uh, weapon chests underwater. Weapon chests? Yeah, you can bring them out of the sea. They'll still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about weapons you pick up and create blueprints okay. for you. Weapons made f with a blueprint won't break underwater, you, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Trinity Star. The hell? That's gotta be a reference to something. Anyway, thanks, Duff, I guess. You now craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. And also stuff on blueprints, cool. All right, let's head back to Boncho Sushi. Wrap up your day and get things ready. All right, back to the restaurant we go. Rip and dip. Ah, another day. A terrific tsunami of content and a wonderful underwater world I certainly have enjoyed so far, Dave the Diver. I've yet to take a look at this game in more depth, <laughs> like our live stream here today, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe for more. Thank you very much again for smashing the notification bell and uh, saying hello down below in the comment section. You guys are nice, so thanks very much for saying hi during your busy day. Hope to see you all soon, and hope you check out Dave the Diver sometime soon as well. There might be a demo for this one too, so make sure you check Steam to see if it's available and try it before you buy it. See you next time.